Alright, hi guys. Let's uh, slaughter these guys that were coming down the stairs. They look actually pretty easy to beat. Yeah. Nothing too hard. Quite impressive. There's a slight theatricality to your methods. Damn right. What kind of test was this? The kind you live to complain about, apparently. Which leaves me with the pleasure of announcing that Mr. Mirage would like to make you an offer. What if I'm not interested? While your hesitance might be considered measurably understandable, suggesting that Mr. Mirage isn't the type of person one should consider refusing seems in order. <sighs> What's the offer? You've made several inquiries into a series of murders that recently took place. I have. Then it's safe to assume you know that eight years ago, Mr. Mirage inherited control of Hatmandor's underground. He cut his way to the top. In a manner of speaking. Before Mr. Mirage received his inheritance, he was forced to remove Tors Darum, his predecessor. Several of his followers, however, refused to cooperate. I heard. He had them killed. Their families as well. After we cleansed Darum's residence, Mr. Mirage later discovered a stone left unturned. A boy. A son. It wasn't accounted for. Someone was silenced in his stead. Darum's nephew. The resemblance was striking. So close, in fact, that by the time we discovered our error, Darum's heir was nowhere to be found. And now you think that he is... Yes, this is Mr. Mirage's assumption. And you want me to... To correct this error, naturally. And in return? Money, of course. Cool. It's worth noting that the good faith he's shown thus far is extended to relevant financial matters as well. Furthermore, if you succeed, our interest in your services may prove to become much more consistent. Hmm. Lol? I'll, I'll do, do it. it. Good. You should begin with Zask, the only remaining Darum loyalist left by both our target and our employer. Why was he spared? Mr. Mirage wisely assumed that if Darum's son returned to the city, he'd contact Zask. He's been monitored ever since, yet our assumption now seems flawed. Then why bother? We're simply interested in knowing if we missed something so it is part of your task to discover this before our situation escalates. This is espionage, not an interrogation. Convince him to trust you. He owns a small workshop in Chesnadar. I pray that Basil hasn't overestimated your skill set regarding this matter. Best of luck. Best of luck to you too. It seems I have work to do. It seems you do indeed. No ho ho. Yeah, you wait until I kill you. Let's follow him. Where's he gonna go? I bet you those place is gonna be locked for me. Yep. Alright, anyway. Let's check if these guys had it or anything. Gold seal, amulet, and a battle hammer. Nothing really worth getting. Someone's mowing the lawn outside, so hopefully you guys don't hear that. That's not good if you can hear it. Save that for later. Wait, how come I can't exit? Hey, you. Oh, yeah. The commander told me to give you these keys. Keys? Yeah, keys to the gates. We cut off several parts of the desert because of the Varn infestation. Unfortunately, they've taken control of some of our outposts. Now anyone crazy enough to wander the desert needs these keys. Not to mention a big stick. Here. Thank you. So we finally unlocked those gates. I'm guessing in um the new Bayan, I think. No, it wasn't he yeah, it wasn't he Bayan. Pretty done all this. Alright, um Yeah, no one cares. Uh Alsona, Ostrich Nightmares. I should do that. 
That's the rune stones. It's another island thing. Alright, well. Let's do chapter one because it looks like. Well, that's the main story anyway. So, I finally learned the whereabouts of Captain. Supposedly, he's the only person who knows the way into the Tower of Fangs. He's camped about half a mile south of Hatman Door. Okay, so. That is quite a while away. Hmm. Half a mile. From Hatman Door. That is a large half a mile. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> On second thought. Alright, anyway, so let's see where should we spawn? Queen's Crossroads seems like the closest place, so. Let's spawn there. Unless anything closer pops up, but no. Alright. We'll go left, I think. We'll just check. Oh, it makes no difference anyway. And then... Oh, it doesn't really matter where we go after this. It'll lead us both to the same place. And there we go, there's another barn. Gentlemen, and or monsters. Stealth kill for the win. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> Good. I love these guys laugh so much. Alright, this is the area that we were trying to get to before. And we put it, like, in a much earlier Let's Play. Oh, what's out there? Item removed. Another van. There's a whole van encampment area in here. Oh, come on. I want a stealth kill. Oh, man. Stupid vans. As long as you kill them once, they're gone forever, so. Be you glad you met me. That's cool. Oh, wow. There are a lot of vines here. Oh, I guess, well, they're more hyenas, but. Okay, oh god, there's more here. We're on the side. I love those vines that just stand there, do nothing. <laughs> that's rich. Quick two hits gets rid of them. And I'm guessing over there, that's a hyena right in front of me. So I shouldn't even bother. Alright, anyway. I say I went the wrong, wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Cut a couple of corners as you do. Cheater, I don't care about a cheater. Hopefully we've leveled up. Yep. Get more endurance, so we get more health and let's see. Increase retribution. Alright. Wow, that is, the sun is pretty bright. <coughs> Alright, so here's that village. Zardan. Interesting name. Love how they come up with all these names for all these different towns and stuff. All right. Stop right there. State your business. Well, I'm a mercenary. Since they you're all courteous, look, that guy looks like the tongue as well. And what do you do? What do you want? Um. <laughs> Lol. I'm here to see the captain. I've heard that before. Trust me. When he learns why I've come, he'll be amused at the very least. Well, you don't smell like an Imperial, and your heels aren't fused together. The captain is in his tent. Okay, well, he should be able to hear me, shouldn't he? Stupid captain. 
I won't bother asking how you got here. So I'll skip to where I ask you, why? On my way to the Tower of Fangs. Familiar with it? It's just a story. I let them tell it. Hopefully it keeps the more reckless ones grounded. I hear you're a better butcher than a liar. That may be true, but let me ask you, why bother? Didn't bring me closer to anything but an early grave. What's your plan? You going to storm Vakmar single-handedly? Squeeze the life out of that filthy tyrant with your bare hands? Tell me, what makes you any different from the rest of us? I've dealt with him before. You... <laughs> Crazy bastard. I nearly fucking believed you. I'll tell you what. I sent a party out into the nearby caves a few days ago. They're still missing. First, let's see if your hands are as quick as your mouth. Find my men. Then we'll see who can tell the better story. Let's I'll find, find them. They went to Gorlag's cave, just north of here. When, or rather, if you find them, tell them to report back. I'll probably be dead anyway. All right. Goodbye then. Good luck. What's this? Better be worth it. Nothing and hopefully something in this one. Is there anything? A letter to fell. Okay, and let's read this. Well, not read it, just open it. But anyway, um, all right. So we learned the skills. Now let's go back outside. Wait, didn't it need a load when, once we when we go inside? But when we go outside, it just it's just a white screen. It's fairly interesting. Don't know if you, any of you guys even care. But, um... What am I doing? I can't go this way, can I? It's blocked off by rocks, so we're going to have to go the long way. Around this way. Okay. Well, I'll end this episode right now. And... You guys will actually join me on my journey. So we'll see if anything epic happens along the way because this is a new area. We haven't been here yet, so we'll see what happens. See you guys.